Thursday. Well, I found out today that the kind of wrestling Mr. Underwood is teaching is completely different from the kind they do on TV. First of all, we have to wear these things called singlets, which look like those bathing suits they used to wear in the 1800s. And second of all, there are no pile drivers or hitting people over the heads with chairs or anything like that. There's not even a ring with ropes around it. It's just basically a sweaty mat that smells like it's never been washed before. Mr. Underwood started asking for volunteers so he could demonstrate some wrestling holds, but there was no way I was going to raise my hand. Me and Rowley tried to hide out in the back of the gym near the curtain, but that's where the girls were doing their gymnastics unit. We got out of there in a hurry, and he went back to where the rest of the guys were. Mr. Underwood singled me out, probably because I'm the lightest kid in the class, and he could toss me around without straining himself. He showed everybody how to do all these things called a half Nelson, and a reversal, and a takedown, and stuff like that. When he was doing this one move called the fireman's carry, I felt a breeze down below, and I could tell my singlet wasn't doing a good job keeping me covered up. That's when I thanked my lucky stars the girls were on the other side of the gym. Mr. Underwood divided us up into weight groups. I was pretty happy about that at first, because it meant I wasn't going to have to wrestle kids like Benny Wells, who can bench press 250 pounds. But then I found out who I did have to wrestle, and I would have traded for Benny Wells in a heartbeat. Fregley was the only kid light enough to be in my weight class. And apparently Fregley was paying attention when Mr. Underwood was giving instructions, because he pinned me every which way you could imagine. I spent my seventh period getting way more familiar with Fregley than I ever wanted to be.